Hi guys, it's a beautiful spring day and we're gonna have ourselves a lovely bivy camp in this gorgeous old fallen tree. So this big boy unfortunately has fallen down but we're going to use him to see if we can make a lovely little shelter down here it's going to be really cold tonight freezing at least possibly in minus so the first thing i want to do is block off underneath where there's any gaps just to create sort of a little hollow here that'll keep any breeze out I can see where the grass is moving we want it nice and still in here and hopefully hold some heat in and then i think i might make a little firewall across here and we'll have a fire somewhere down there so yeah this is going to be really nice let's get going So I'm going to stick some moss and some grass and stuff in here now, fill the gaps up. All right, that's that side done. Let's do the same on the other side. I'm going to start on this firewall now. I think if I tie a branch across here and then I can prop other branches up against it. Going on. Crazy weather. Oh my god. That changed fast. I wasn't expecting that today. that across there just to sort of hold these up in place so they don't fall down in the night. That is pretty cool. Love that. not the weather I was anticipating at all but I'm really glad I've got this tiny tarp as sort of an emergency shelter because I think we're gonna need it there's not really anything to tie a ridge line to here well at least I haven't got enough power cords to make one that stretches all the way over there anyway so I'm just gonna have to use the guy lines to sort of put this over this area and then at least I'll have a little dry area underneath I can prop it up on my trekking pole and I can just put my stuff under and hopefully it'll stay dry. It's dark soon. Okay, that's not too bad is it? Got a couple more guys here. I can put on the sides. Look at that sun now. This weather's crazy. <laughs> right, I've got a lovely little shelter up. Uh, I've got my firewall done. So I'm gonna get some firewood and then get sorted under the top. there for me bed. Oh amazing. I feel like 
all makes a bit of sense now. Everything's in its right place, all dry and ready. I love this. This is so cozy. It's one degree already and the sun's only just gone down, so it's gonna be cold. Right, I'm gonna cut some firewood. It's so cozy in here. It's lovely and warm. I'm not even needing my puffy on at the moment and it's 0.5 degrees out there currently. I'm getting really hungry now, so I'm gonna put some coals on here and gonna get my sausages going. Got a nice little treat tonight. A little gin. Yay, my sister got that for me. Thank you, beautiful sister. Oh my God, that's so nice. Rhubarb and ginger. So for tea tonight, I've got sausages that I'm going to do on the bish box and some rolls and butter and some tomato sauce and pepper. So I have brought with me today some bits of kindling just to get a fire started. When this is all gone, I'll start using this stuff down here. Right, sausages! my dinner that was amazing it's actually 10 o'clock now so time has flown today and this is a bit different to what I was anticipating when I arrived here because I thought it was going to be just clear and sunny the whole day that's what the forecast said so I wasn't planning on using this top and I kind of had to make something up as I went along but I'm really pleased with how it's turned out actually it's lovely and toasty in here yeah I'm absolutely loving it the stars are out and it's just a really gorgeous night the chunks of this tree being so big and being all filled all the gaps underneath are really holding the heat in lovely and it's so nice because I can just look out at the stars it's amazing I'm gonna get a hot drink on I think and then I'm gonna get to bed sleepy now. I love sitting by a little fire. It's gone all sparkly out there already so I think it must be freezing. It's four degrees in here at the moment which is lovely but of course when the fire goes out it's going to drop quite fast so we'll see what it is in the morning. I did bring my trail cam again today. I used it on my last camp but I didn't get anything so this time I've put it kind of quite away across the woods because I think last time it was too close to me and the animals wouldn't come that close if they could hear me so I won't know if we've got anything until I'm on my way home because I'm gonna pick it up on my way back through the woods you never know you might get something feeling lucky all right it's midnight can you believe that it's gone so fast today time for bed I reckon Night night guys, sweet dreams. morning guys it's a beautiful morning the sun's just starting to come up i'm just making my breakfast today i've got leftover sausages chocolate coffee and a little cake bath i 
I had such a gorgeous night. I don't know how long I slept for, but I didn't wake up at all. Must have had about six hours, I reckon, because I went to bed quite late. So I did the temperatures first thing this morning as soon as I woke up, and out there was, it was below minus two. It might have been minus 2.4 or something. And in the shelter in here was 1.8. So that's quite a big difference, that's a few degrees, which doesn't sound a lot, but it makes all the difference when you're sleeping in it. Um, and in my sleeping bag, it was about 25, I think, so yeah, amazing, toasty. Pheasant. Mr. Pheasant? I absolutely love cold camping. I love it, especially when you get those beautiful frosty sunny mornings like this just see a deer over there I think it's a roe deer because I saw a little white tail so lovely oh what a blessing this morning is all right guys I've got a leg of lamb at home needs cooking so I'm gonna get packed up now thank you so much for sharing this trip with me I absolutely loved it. It's been so gorgeous. So yeah, I will see you guys soon. Have an amazing week. Take care. Bye.